G was enjoying a deep sleep when suddenly a roaring noise shattered his peaceful slumbers. A strange flying saucer appeared before his very eyes, turned him into small particles, and transported him to an unknown land. When G came to, he found himself in a disagreeable land in which an unearthly scene extended into the distance. Most unpleasantly of all, a strange robot was standing directly in front of him. G, who had very big ears, was especially displeased that the robot had no ears at all. The robot spoke to G. Welcome, Mr. J. Are you prepared to fulfill your duty? G did not like two things. Where are your ears, stupid? said G. The robot, perhaps because it had not been programmed to deal with such rude language, spouted smoke as he retorted to G. Forget about my ears. Are you prepared to fulfill your duty? G thought it to be a very stubborn robot. He then questioned something else that he did not like. My name is not J, it is G. To this, the robot, still blowing smoke, shouted, What? The wrong person? G, fed up with this whole thing, unknowingly fell asleep. Then the robot violently shook him awake. Can't be helped. It's too much trouble to go back and look again. You will fulfill the duty, okay? G thought about it for a while. He didn't like the thought of again being turned into small particles and being blown somewhere. It seemed as though the condition couldn't be helped, so he reluctantly listened to the robot. The robot began explaining the duties. Your task is to go to planet Renegar and remove the screws from the Zimbots. G was only confused, not understanding what the robot was talking about. What I am saying is, the space pirates have fastened the Zimbots down with screws and nails. Release them. An unpleasant sh silence continued for a short while. Next, G was mercilessly transported to an un another unknown location. The robot's parting words were, Good luck. When he came to, many gears closed around him, making eerie noises as they moved.